Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Cold Forged. So between episodes, I did what we, I said I was going to do, got the mechs repaired. We moved systems to Laurent. Now we're a little bit closer to the Rasselhag, or Republic, I believe it is. Or uh, what is it called now? Yeah, uh, Rasselhag. Yeah, Free Rasselhag Republic. So we're a little bit closer. We're right on the border here. Uh, this is kind of where the clans have operating or are operating. And if we look now at our contracts, this is awesome, by the way. So we've got Raiding Party, um, Oregon Coalition. No, no one really cares. Another coalition. But if we do Trap Sprung here, um, a, uh, this is a perfect one to do, I think, for today. But um, it's Clan Mex. Um, and then we got Decapitation, which is also Clan Mex, I believe. Um, wait, where did all the... Uh, Oh, here we go. Clan Fire Mandrill. Uh, this one's Fire Mandrill as well, but it's two lances, so I'm not really sure about that. Decapitation, I thought was Fire Mandrill as well, but I guess, no, it's abandoned. Um, so we do have a couple of clan uh, con clan contracts we can do here. I think Hard hard Contact, is this? Yeah, Fire Mandrill. That's the, oh, that's the two lance one. Yeah, so there's a few here that we can do, uh, both for our heavy lance and for our light lance. A couple here which we can just put, kind of pull off... Um, Maybe get some half decent salvage and a little bit of uh, sea bills, um, and then these five skull ones. I don't know. Maybe we'll have a look through them. I think we should look for a planet with four skulls, but we do want to test ourselves against uh, clan mechs. So we're gonna take the trap sprung one. Now I'm kind of predicting that we're gonna need to probably bail from this one, but we might get lucky. We might get real lucky and get an, an easier one to do here. So let's negotiate. We're doing okay for sea bills, so let's crank up our uh, salvage here and accept this. And we're going to flush out our second lance and bring in the main lance. It would be nice if Battletech came up with a sort of a lance-based system where you could have lance A, lance B, and already have the guys loaded in and just choose your lances. So like for every mech bay, you get another uh, um, bar down here that basically has a different lance in it so that you can just choose the lance you want to, to launch with rather than having to flush everybody out and bring people back in. But I guess they're just expecting it, you know, you're only being play, like really playing with one lance. So, all right, Bushwhacker, uh, Wolverine, Phoenix Hawk. Let's hope this is enough. I I toyed around with, like, while I was thinking about it, bringing in the Fire Starter instead of the Phoenix Hawk. Um, just to kind of maximize salvage if we can get that going. But my fear is that if these guys have, you know, are, are a little bit heavier, um, that I'd be worried that we'd lose this guy. Actually, now that I'm talking about it, maybe we leave the Phoenix Hawk behind and we go, uh, can we go double melee max? That's a possibility. I'm just worried at one and a half skulls. Some of the one skull missions have been really nasty. So um, let's try it this way. Like I said, we can always bail. We've got three and a half skull rating here with this lance. So, I mean... I'm not really worried about the drop cost or any of that. It's about 100000 No big deal. But I think as far as firepower goes, this might be the best way to go. So let's do that. Um, the Bushwhacker, yeah, that's fine. We're going to use this guy as a distance uh, mech anyway. So I think we're okay here. So let's deploy and get this sucker done. All right, here we go. So most likely we're up against a couple of lances here. Uh, knowing the clans, there's probably, yeah. So I don't know if this is just one mech up here, or a mech and a lance, or what this is, or if this is just a secondary lance. Uh, I don't know. But we'll we'll play this and, and figure it out. So actually, just before I start this, I just want to apologize about the last episode. The background noise was really loud. What happened was um, I was installing the latest version of Rogue Tech, um, because I want to get my Funky Steve's Medinas uh, up and running with the most recent version. And um, I'm having issues with that. But anyway, that being said, I think what happened was it reset all of the settings, including the sound settings. So um, what now is going on is the Funky Steve's Medinas, which I think for the next four episodes will probably have loud background sound as well. 
um, and this uh, series, it reset the sound settings, so now everything is, well, was really loud. I just figured that out after I did some editing yesterday, um, or last night. So, um, yeah, that's, uh, yeah, that's my bad, and I apologize, an 80-ton clan mech. We're going to have to get right on this guy. So we want to avoid, um, obviously, we want to avoid the reinforcements as much as we can until we take down this 80 tonner. Here's a 25 ton. And as we know, yeah, as we know with Clan Max, it doesn't matter what the weight is. Um, they still pack a heavy wallop. So it doesn't really matter how much they weigh. You know, one good laser hit to the head and it's over, right? Okay, large pulse. Probably a white. What's the weight on this guy? Do we see that? 35, so it's probably a white. I don't know what this guy is yet. Alright, don't know what that guy is. At least we're not seeing any Gauss rifles. That guy cannot be seen. Okay. Uh, at least we're not seeing any Gauss rifles, which is great. What can I do, you fool? Um, do we want eyes on yet? I'm thinking we do. If we can get some plasma on this guy to start, that would be nice. What the hell is this? It's a Naga. Okay. Arrow systems. That's what we want. And this guy's got no armor. Ooh, I should have brought the fire starter. Um, arrow systems, man. I remember these back in the old days playing tabletop. These things were, when they came out, it's just like, everyone's got to have the arrow system. Try not to destroy them. I don't know. We're going to, we got to try and CT this guy, I guess. Or otherwise, we're going to lose those arrow systems. 40 ton are back there. Now, we do have some clan mech. That was a 3? Oh, MM, or MML 3, I guess. Uh, we have uh, some clan mech parts, like fire starters and things like that. Uh, back at the uh, back at the shop. I almost thought about taking the medium lasers off this guy. Kind of need them. So let's just plink plink this guy. I love that he's gone up on the hill up here. Yeah. Like, you never see any of the Inner Sphere mechs do that, right? They just don't go up on the hill. Uh, can't get direct line of sight unless we're in the open. Do I want to do that? That's the question. It's opening my backside up. Um... Let's go here. I know it's not ideal, um, but the last thing I want is for this guy to hit me with missiles. Um, it's the wrong mech for him to be shooting that with. So let's fire on this guy. Oh, one hit. Nice. That was a leg hit too, I think. Yeah, he's backing out. Yeah, chicken. But you got an arrow system, so as long as you can see us. Oh, he's running. Wow. Uh... Don't know many clan mechs that'll run, but... Uh, okay, well... That's what we're here for, so let's start engaging these guys, I guess. We can't move much farther, but if we're going to do it, we might as well be shooting back at them. So we do have a white, and the locust two clan... Right, I keep forgetting the, lo the clan locusts are uh, 25 tons, and these guys are lighter, lightly armored as well. So we kind of got lucky with this draw, I guess. I could use the AC-20 on this guy. We got lots of ammo... Uh, let's just try firing on this guy. Come on. Ah. He was in the open. And plus these locusts have tons of armor. So it's good to get started on them earlier. Before they get within good range here where they can actually hit us more often. Yeah, I mean, like, like 100 points of armor, right? Like, it's crazy. Alright. I guess we're chasing this guy down. I think probably recoil and uh, pylon can handle these guys without, or the 80 tonner without too much of a problem, only because he's got no armor, right? I mean, if he was fully armored, it would be a different story. Look at this guy's evasion, man. Look at that. Christ, it's like fighting pylon and recoil. Oh, stop it with your friggin' lasers. I gotta find a way to get more uh, evasion on that uh, Zeus. Yeah, ignore everybody. 
just go after those guys. We want that 80 tonner gone. If they can get eyes on with the arrow system, we're in trouble. So we're going to try and move to cover. Yep. Yep. What's our chance to hit this guy? Yeah, not that great. Let's move a little. Wow, well, can't move a little farther up, unfortunately. So let's move up to here. Understood. Moving fast. Do have lots of ammo, so I'm not worried about that. That's really bad on this guy. Uh, I'm going to leave the ER large off. There's no point in wasting the heat at this point, and we'll just fire the missiles. Hopefully, we get lucky. Nice. She's doing really well with these arrow, with these uh, thunderbolt oh, systems. Yeah. Once I get you a catapult. It's going to be crazy. Okay, another locust. It would almost be nice to have one of these clan locusts for our light lan light lighter lance. I say almost. Okay, what are you? No idea. Okay, can I get out of sight range here? Not completely, but I can get back here. Which I think is probably good. So let's do this. Um, how badly would we want this locust gone? I'm not going to bother warlording this, I'm just going to fire. Oh yeah, man! Did not see that coming, but thank goodness it did. Here comes that nutty boy here. He's not even shooting. Dude, you realize you got two melee guys right on top of you, right? That's turning my back, though. Uh, let's go this way. Give him a punch. Yeah. I don't know how much damage we did. 84 probably. Is he unstable? Is he unstable? Oh, almost. Man, once our melee boys get down here, you're in a lot of trouble, buddy. Damage minimal. Waiting for orders. All right, your turn, pal. Uh, you gotta turn your back, but we'll take it. Copy that. You got better evasion, so. Okay, there goes the leg. Going down. Ah! Well, you did have no armor, not much you can do about it. One less target. Although, I think we may have spared one of the arrow systems. That'll be nice. Couple of ATM threes. Okay, so I don't have to worry about too much about those guys. Is this white I have to worry about? Uh, if we don't move, so we don't move. What do we got here? Eighteen percent. This is what I mean, man. Like this guy's got like. Look at the evasion. Um. I don't want any attacks really on the bushwhacker. Let's just keep it back here. And we'll fire the missiles. 10%. Yeah, I'll still, we'll still shoot it. We got the ammo. Yeah. Targeting systems janky. They're not janky, girl. You just can't hit from that distance. You know that. Can't blame the targeting systems. That's like saying Yang didn't do his job and I can't target anything. We all know Yang did his job, so 
All right. Um, yeah, because we'll take the 2.6% chance to hit with the lasers. Let's see if we actually hit with one. Oh, we did. <laughs> I'll take it. I'll take that. Yeah, I got a problem over here I need you guys to help me take care of, if you don't mind. This guy's unstable. Uh, let's just shoot him with this stuff. Hopefully, actually, you know what? Frig that. Offensive pushing with this stuff. Let's push him back. I don't care if you hit or not. He's unstable right now. Let's give Hickory a chance to do some heavy damage on him. What's this guy? Good luck, buddy. What is that guy? Griffin 2C. Okay. Two light tags. Wow, I can't let him get close. If you want to plink plink from back there, we're just happy for you to do that. Let's get down here. Got it. See if we can knock this guy down. Uh, we'll fire everything. Tagged. Nice. Hickory's not even going to move. There's no point. Yeah, you got to shoot for me now. All right, Hickory. What do you need? It's up to you, girl. There's your target right there. Let's finish this guy up, please. Firing. Goes the right torso. Most likely the large down. pulse as well. Going down. Down to one. Almost no CT left, unfortunately. Maybe I'll try and do a missile strike to the head. Ah, he's going to move in. Of course he is. He's pissed. And he's a clanner, so he's going to die fighting. That's fine. Oh, he's unstable too. Um, let's capitalize on this. Uh, if we can. Um, we can. Now, I hope I don't kill him. I'm going to multi-target here. Uh, I'm not going to Warlord. I wish I could, though. What do we got? ATMs on this guy. ATMs on this guy. Well, we're going to multi-target anyway. Uh, this guy. And let's start on the Griffin, since he hasn't moved. And we're going to do it this way, I think. So hopefully the ATM-9 doesn't kill this guy. Maybe we knock him down. Let's fire and see. If we knock him down, we max... Ah, uh, well. Well, we had to try. Okay, nice start in the Griffin. Good thing these guys were uh, half armor or lower than that, like third armor or something. But we should get some good clanner gear out of this, which will be awesome. Um, yep. This guy's just standing there, so is this guy. Let's target the locust. A little better chances to hit. We'll fire. Attacking from position. Nice. Everything hit. What's up, buddy? <laughs> Welcome to the game. Yeah, Eno's better than to hang around. All right, Good to go. let's push these guys. Let's push the Locust. Double time. Let's go. Forget about the Griffin for now. We might be able to maximize some salvage off that Griffin, but let's push this Locust. Target acquired. Let's make him think twice about standing still in the fight. Uh, can we get a better shot on him without... Oh, we can, right there. Nice. Let's move. So if these guys had had full armor, it definitely would have been a hugely different fight. That arrow system would have taken us quite a lot a lot longer to take them down. But I think it was the right move to bring the two melee mechs, especially against these guys. They don't have a lot of like close range firepower like that, but they do have um, a ton of stopping power when they move in. So it's nice to have that. Alright, now ATMs. I don't know what the... I guess because they're considered... 
they use LRM ammo. I guess they, the chance to hit heads relies fully on the first missile hitting. So if the first missile doesn't hit the head, the rest of them um, it'll just cluster around wherever the first missile hits. So it's unlikely for a head hit uh, with the ATMs, but we're going to do it anyway. Um, so let's multi-target A, B, and these guys will go to B and we'll put the ATMs on A. Um, oh, sorry, yeah, not targeting the head, obviously, but that's the way it would go. Um, yeah, so if you're targeting a, uh, a headshot with uh, missile launchers, just do it with SRMs, because apparently it rolls independently for each SRM missile, but not for LRMs. So, which makes sense if you go back to the tabletop game, it was kind of the same way. All right. Griffin's in uh, head punching range now. So first thing we're going to do, Hickory. Um, let's make sure this guy's not going anywhere. Let's go for a leg strike on him. Chances are we're not going to get it, but we're going to do it. We're just pushing him back a turn here. Come on. There it is. Oh my god, you got him with both. Let's try and leg them, guys. Okay, so how do we do this the best way? <sighs> What's up, boss? We're trying to leg them. Leg him. Did you hear me with that? Leg. Le egg. Um, boomstick's probably not the best way to go with that, so we'll leave that off. And we'll fire the rest. Engaging. Okay, better chance to hit now. Wait. Recoil. You heard me say leg, right, buddy? You heard me say leg. I spelled it out, didn't I? L-E-G, leg, fire. <sighs> 43. Alright, I know if I know you I know if I use the AC20 for a leg hit, it's gonna like how much has he got in the CT? Ah man. 43 left in the leg. So we're targeting him. That's probably overkill. Let's go this route. Going after the leg. Let's hope we get it. See what happens. Oh my god, they both missed. And here I am telling those guys to hit the leg, and I can't even hit anything. They're probably laughing at me right now. It's like, leg hit, leg hit. Alright, um... That's what I'd be doing anyway. Let's try and target the leg again. We're not even going to move. Plasma rifle does barely any damage, so I'm okay with using that. Let's just fire. Okay, that looked like two leg hits there. Should be pretty close. Um, let's just move to here. He's not going to be moving very far when he comes out, so... Pylon, once again... Going after the leg, it's got nine left. Two mediums, should be able to do it. Affirmative. You hit it with the tag. You hit the leg with the tag. Dude, seriously? <sighs> hit the leg with the fucking tag. I don't want to blow this guy up. What do you think, guys? Do we do all three? Those are a bit more accurate, but they do a lot more damage. Let's just... No, oh God. Let's just fire these two. She seems to be really good with accuracy with these things, so... There we go. Both legs. Nice. Salvage. All right, 41,000. I don't really care about the cash because that's not what we were here for. And we didn't take any damage, really. Nothing significant. So a lot of Griffin 2C parts. Let's hope we get some of those. Locust parts. I'd be happy with those. We've got four of them already. So maybe we get four more. Would be nice. Naga parts. There's the arrow. 150 damage. I'm so glad this guy didn't fire. What does it use for ammo? It's got 10 rounds can vary between plus and minus 75. Are you kidding me? Holy crap. 
I can't not take that. Light tag. What is the difference between a light tag? Maybe the range? Huh. Armor clan. Case enabled. We were looking for this too at one point. Um, clan endo steel. Enhanced imaging systems plus 5% weapon damage. It's not much, but still. Fusion core, X, L gyro, clan double heat sinks, just saving space with those things. TTS double plus energy. 10% increased range with energy weapons. That would be kind of nice. Minus 50% minimum range with energy weapons. Um, God, what do I take? Enhanced imaging, probably. I don't know. We don't really have any heavy hitters right now. Like, you need to be... Like, 5% weapon damage, if you actually think about it, on an AC-20 is doing 10, 100 damage. You're only doing 105 I guess the only thing that that really helps with is missiles because if something that does you know minus five percent damage it might re it might bump or sorry so let's say something does minus 25 percent damage um, this will bump it to 20 so it might change how much damage you're doing I don't know I can't really see the plus five percent doing all that big a difference I mean in the arrow system yeah right 5% more it's still only 7 points on 150 maybe I'm mistaken I don't know but I don't really see that big of advantage with it I guess if you stack that with a lot of other things like as a, something that gives you other like increased damage like a um, PPC capacitor even right that'll help out as well increasing damage but it's still a marginal amount. I mean, it's not really, when you think about it logically, maybe I'm wrong, I, I don't know, but I'm thinking the TTS energy, um, we don't have any of these in storage, so the arrow system is really the bigger thing I want out of this. All this other stuff, like, we're gonna find a lot of this, right? We're gonna get a lot of these with when we fight the clans. The, well, I mean, this is nice too. So this is like in integral case armor throughout the entire mech, right? As far as I understand, unless I'm wrong. If you know, if you guys know if it actually, when it says case enabled, if that means it's got regular case armor throughout the entire mech, please put a, a message in the comment below. I'm interested to know that. Um, incorporates case technology. My guess is that every location has case. So that, that's my guess. So... Let me know in the comments below if you guys know for sure. I'll try and remember to look it up between episodes, but I can't guarantee I'll be able to do that. Uh, Cockpit Clan gives you breaching shot. Increased sensor, increased sight range. That's kind of a bonus to have the increased sight range. This would be nice on... Um, oh, on Hickory's mech. Yeah, let's go... Well... Let's take the uh, cockpit, this one. So let's confirm this. Oh, well, another XL clan engine too, right? Man, it's such a hard choice. Let's go this route um, and see. Let's roll the dice. Okay, Griffin part. We've got another Locust part, which is good. We're within range now of being able to select a Locust in, 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 uh, um, in the future, anyway. Two Naga parts. ER small clan. Oh, we got two medium heavy lasers. Awesome. That's great. All right. 1,300, uh, sorry, sorry, sorry 13,000 in damage in four days for repair. So that's really nothing. That's really nothing. 
So we're going to, um, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to fix these guys up. And next episode, we're going to take another clan mission because I'm, I know I'm excited about it. I think you guys probably are too. Uh, so we're going to hold off on doing the, uh, the secondary lances mission right away. I want to get into another clan action. So we're going to leave this for now. Um, so I'm going to end the episode here. If you guys like to drop a like down below, if you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. And next time we're going to be going up against the clans again. So that should be fun until then. We'll see you later.